What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can record CSGO with OBS. And many of you might be here because you tried to record CSGO and you got really laggy footage, you got a message that said warning high encoding, or it just didn't record at all. And that can be a number of different issues. And I'm going to show you how to fix most of them. And this will allow you to record watchable CSGO footage with a shitty kind of bottom tier laptop. So the first thing you want to deal with is not in OBS itself, but in CSGO. So we go to options, video settings, and the crucial part, if you were recording and you got a black screen, that may be because you tried to record in full screen. So you're going to want to turn that down to full screen windowed or windowed. And I personally prefer windowed just because it allows you to change the resolution and that significantly impacts the frame rate of your recording. So if you change it down to 1280 by 720, that's still good definition and that's still fine for YouTube and watching. So ideally you would put it to that if you're having troubles recording. You don't have to, you can take it to 920 by 1080, but it's going to be more taxing on your machine. Uh, so yeah, remember keep it in windowed or windows full screen. Next you want to go down to the video options. And for this, it's really subject to your machine. So if you have a really bad machine, you're going to want to be like me and turn everything to very low or low just because that's all you can deal with. You can't deal with everything on medium or high. Especially when you're recording, it's really taxing on the machine. But if you have a better machine, I mean, you can turn up maybe the model or the texture detail. But overall, unless you're recording some frag movie or cinematic, it's really not going to matter that much if you have everything on low. Okay? So that's all the sections that we have to deal with for the CSGO part. Now we're going to go talk about OBS itself. Alright, so now you can see that I have my screen set up for OBS and I know it looks chippy right now. Just ignore that. At the bottom here, you can it will tell you the frame rate you're recording at. Right now I have it set at really low just because I have a lot of stuff in the background. And speaking of that, one thing you want to do when recording is turn off all of your tabs. So if, you have, if you're like me, and you have 50 different Chrome tabs open all at once, shut them down and then simply reopen them after the fact because Chrome can be really taxing on your machine and it's just something you want to avoid. So for OBS, we're going to go into settings and you can see here, hopefully, let me just fix that. Yeah, you should be able to see all this different stuff. And more or less, you're not going to want to mess with this that much. You're going to want to do broadcast settings and you're going to want to set it up for Twitch. And then you're going to click Twitch. And I know this seems weird. Like, what if I don't want to stream? Trust me. You're going to click Twitch. And then it's going to have you say, here are the default settings for streaming. And you're going to accept that. And it's going to configure your encoding and your video and all that stuff and your bitrate so that it's optimized for streaming. And you may ask, well, why would I'm recording CSGO? I'm going to edit it. I don't want you know, live stream. But the thing is, streaming is a very low taxing uh, service. So it's going to optimize it so that it can be streamed fast because it's not the same type of recording as recording video. And you're still going to get fine quality videos. Like it's, trust me, it's not going to be some bottom tier stuff. It's still going to work perfectly fine. So you're going to want to go to streaming and set it up for Twitch and live stream and it will optimize it itself. So other than that, you really don't touch anything except for video. Now we're on to video. So really, the three things that I touch. I set, up, I set it up for streaming a while ago. I don't touch advanced, encoding, general, any of that. I set it up for video. And here's where the magic happens. If you record it, first off, put it to bilinear. That's, if you're here for this video, you're going to have to have it in bilinear. 30 FPS obviously not as desirable as having 60, but know your limitations. If you set this thing to 60, it's going to fluctuate. Maybe you'll hit 59 this second, drop down to 20 the next second, peak up to, I don't know, 40 the next. But if you set it to 30, your machine will stay at a constant 30 FPS. You're not going to get jumping. You're not going to get lag in your recordings, and it's going to be really worth it in the long run. Uh, as well, you go over to resolution downscale. 
So my base resolution is this, and you really don't need to change that. That's 16 by uh, 900, more or less. You really don't need to change that, the top one. But over here, if you find your recording and it's your machine's just not performing that day, you can change it down to 1.25, 1.5, and in some extreme cases, 1.75. And that's just going to help it run a lot smoother. Yes, it will decrease your quality of content significantly, but you know I find even running at 1.5, I still have perfectly usable gameplay footage. Uh, and yeah, so this is more or less the settings I keep it on, just as a quick refresher. 1.5 by linear and 30 FPS. My encoding, no. My, my encoding and bitrate are like that. You can lower this. So you could lower that and it would help it run a lot faster. As well, my bitrate's at 40. Format is 44. AAC. And you're just going to want to have it broadcast settings set up for Twitch and live stream. That is crucial. That is a crucial aspect that most people don't put in their videos, in their tutorials, is set it up for live streaming. That's going to help you. That's going to take out all the guesswork and everything, and it's really going to help you out. Okay? So, just remember, go into CSGO, put everything to low. I know it sucks, but you're just going to have to do it. Overall, smooth gameplay footage is better than choppy, mediocre footage, okay? And then close every background process. You've got, you know, a Word document in the background. Close that. You got File Explorer, Internet Explorer, Chrome, Firefox, you know, maybe you got a game in the back. Close it all. Everything except CSGO. And hopefully this works. And if this does work, guys, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. It means a lot. And uh, I put a lot of effort and a lot of headaches into solving this so that it will run smoothly for you, and you don't have to suffer the same pain. Alright, see ya!